Okay, welcome back to Planet Crafter. Let's. I was just about to put down the tier four heater, so I wanted to record while I did it. Uh, it is an outside placing once. Let's get it set up. It's pretty cool looking. Okay, as long as we're in here, I'll kind of show you a little bit of what I've done since the last episode. As you can see, I put down a lot of oxygen generators. I put it down a third nuclear um, station. Also, I put this extended large living platform. We'll go inside and check this out real quick. I added another door so when I'm coming from the other direction, I can get in pretty quick. I lined the walls with storage and, and in the process of filling them up I put down one of those flower pots and I put up the display case in a bed I wish the bed actually did something but oh well maybe like return some health or something like that would be kinda cool uh, let's see grab one of these we can um eat a couple of those get some of our energy back. We got some of the powder. We're going to put this in with the fertilizer, the explosive powder. Uh, these plants, I'm just going to set them in there for right now because I want to kind of show you what I've been doing. Um, I moved, I had this extra uh, extractor right there. I moved that to over here. I did find a couple of new caves also I set up two or three extractors here in a base this way I can grab all the stuff and what I can do so I can empty them is I can go in here and anything that I'm not really desperately needing right now. I can just drop in here and then go back and grab the rest of this. Because I don't want to have anything left in each of those because that way I'm able to continue extract everything. Okay, well, let's uh, head back to the main base because our inventory is full. So I'll be right back with you as soon as we get to the base. Okay, we're back to the base. Now we can place all this stuff back in the storage. This will be good because I was needing these rods for making uh, like the engines and things like that because I need uh, I want to send up another rocket and we need these. Whoop. Uh, yeah, see, we need one of those for the rocket. And let's go throw this stuff. The silicone usually was one that was hard to find. Well, not hard to find, just not quite as readily found. Whoop. That way we have uh, everything we're going to need right in one place when we start doing a lot of building. Okay, there was another mineral that for this, like this extractor, that ZEO light. I cannot find that anywhere. I did go on and watch a video that the guy showed where it was at, but for some reason in my game it's not showing it. I'll show you where he showed me where it was. He showed some like outcroppings that were fairly new. It was like right in here. But yet I do not have that. At least not yet. I don't know if it's something that's gonna come about later. 
Because he had like a root. Maybe I have to have trees or something by the for it to come about. Do still have some ice left. Not much. But... Oh, good. There was none of that left. It's good to know that some of this stuff respawns back in. I was trying to set up an extractor for that material, but it does not work from the tier one. So I'm hoping I gotta I can get the tier two pretty soon. Because that's the way you can get it. I do have an extractor set up over here. This one's mostly for like your uh, sulfur. See, I was trying to make sure I got all the sulfur. Dumping the stuff on the ground. Let's head back this way. Oh, here, I'll show you where the other cave is. It's like a secret cave. We want to keep our eyes peeled for any aluminum. If you go over here, you see this wall of like this cloud coming down. For one, if you go along here behind the wall, I already gathered it all, but there's a ton of super alloy spread out through here. But let's go back out. Oh, man, that grass is starting to throw me off a little bit. If you come out here, Right, I think it's right here. Well, maybe not right there. <laughs> oh, there's a super ally. Here it is. It's we'll go straight out from it so you can kind of see where it's at. Right straight in here. There's another cave. Yeah. There it is. And there's sulfur and um, that blue mineral. And we have a case in here too which doesn't have all that much in it, but it's not a real spectacular cave, but it's a little bit, see, like that. Well, we want to definitely want to drop something like iron. <laughs> you never want to pass on that mineral because it's not easy to find. Okay, let's head back to the base. Oh, I got an oxygen on me. Whew, okay, I do. <laughs> No water though. Be sure you always carry an extra oxygen with you. you. Don't want to be trapped out there without it. If you need sulfur, this is an area to come where it's got this kind of like a sulfur field. You can tell by the fog. set up a couple extra of the flower spreaders even though I'm not really seeing any flowers but I think that's because we're not in the floral stage yet okay let's did get a super alloy from that run that's good and we've got 
just a couple of that, but anything with those is, is good. A couple sulfurs. I don't know. Do I have another one? Yeah, I do have another sulfur set up here. Oh, I got a fabric out of that. Even though it's not really all that spectacular to have, because all it is is for that furniture, and that's just kind of decorative. Okay, let's uh, get ourselves a motor, or an engine, a motor, an engine. So we need nine of these. Okay, get nine of those. And two uranium and a super. Actually, we should probably get a uranium rocket because we're running out of uranium. It's the only way you can really get any. So I'm thinking, well, let's send both. We'll send both rockets. Let's grab nine more. Send a couple rockets, so let's uh, head up here. See what we're gonna need for the rest of it. I know we got the rocket, but okay, I want to do. We're gonna do the biomass one first. So we need a fertilizer, two super alloy, a bark, and a linen. Let's go in here first. Grab the plant, uh, which is this one of those. Two super alloy fertilizer. And a tree bark. Pretty sure that's everything. Let's get up there and check. Okay, that's everything. This hopefully will help spread the grass even more. And we have liftoff.
terraformation uh, is shooting up. I think we need, we'll see what we need for hitting next stages and stuff. But I want to be out here for my gathering. Oh good, I've completely open. And here comes our, here comes our asteroids with uranium in them. As long as they don't hit me. Which that one right there looks like it could. Yay. Okay, let's go get this one. Actually, the best time is when it gets dark because then you can see them from a distance. starting to get oxygen in the atmosphere. I didn't see where the other ones hit. Oh, there's one right there. Let's go grab some oxygen real quick. And a water. saw the patch notes for the for the next upcoming update and stuff. One thing I do love is the fact that they're they said they're not gonna have like aliens and guns and any violence of any kind in the game. It's just you're just terraforming. That's what I like. I'm I'm hoping they add a bunch of other planets. That would be nice. But they also said that they're gonna you'll be able to get like creatures like fish and birds and, and things like that. That would be really cool. to the floral. Let's go see what our upgrades are at. Okay, we need, let's see, what this plasma or pulsar quartz. Pulsar quartz. Uh, 
energy. It needs 600 MT. We're getting close. It's shooting up pretty quick there. DNA. Okay, that might be for making creatures. And that's a 700. Uh, let's see. 7.5 ppm. So I'm thinking... We have, because right now we're at 88.7 ppb. So M must be the next step up. And that's the tree spreader. Nuclear fission. Fusion. 750 UK. Whoa, that's going to take a while. And the tier 2, this is the one that I'm looking forward to, is this ore extractor T2. And that's MPA 364, which I'm at 194. So we still got a ways to go with that also. Okay, let's grab something to eat here. Yeah, it does take quite a bit with, the, with this one. Oh, what's this? Food growth. What? I just, I didn't even see that. A tier 2 food grower. Let's take a look. Food grower tier 2. We get set. Oh, it just does it faster, is what it does. It takes more power. We could set that one up over in the, the other building. Let's do that. Let's grab some seeds, though, because grab a seed and those 400 let's take and trade those out for one of these because these are the 300 we want the 400s in there we could set up other ones too but we won't do that this episode we could move our food growers right here in the middle of this room Okay, we need water, super alloy, and a fertilizer. Super is over here. And a water. to have some of the food growing too because it's closer to the I'm starting to make my other building obsolete kind of uh, let's see uranium okay let's go throw this in we do have this plant too we'll just throw it in the food one for right now Okay, well, I think we're going to end the episode right there. Let's head up to our top of our tower and take a look at our base. Whoa. From the overview. Yeah, looking pretty good. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. You have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments.